the network. All right, we got Caesar's Wish asking, I have songs I wish I could post because I think that they have their own unique qualities, but I made them a minute before I had the actual sound quality, mixing, mic quality, etc. of my music got better. I like them, but I wouldn't be comfortable posting them on Apple Music, Spotify, etc. I wish I could do a soft drop or something, and in the old days, that would simply be a SoundCloud drop, but I don't feel like SoundCloud is enough anymore. Do you have any ideas? Well, I mean, man, you said I don't want to really do it on SoundCloud. Then you also said you don't want to do it on Apple, Spotify, etc. I mean, what do you, I mean, put it on a CD and hand it out? I don't know, man. Um, But no, honestly, to be real, there's a couple of options. Number one, you could not overthink this whole Apple Spotify thing. You know, I understand there's a whole, an official perception of that. You could drop it and honestly, people overthink that. People probably aren't paying that much attention. If they, they check it out, they like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. That's one route. And also you could put it on your YouTube audio page, right? Not your YouTube audio page, but as an audio on your YouTube page, that is something else that you can do. And then just say and think nothing of that. Maybe if you see enough feedback, you do something more with it. That's a couple of options that you can do where you don't have to overthink and really do much promotion of it at all. Of course, you can post on your web page, like social media, all that stuff organically and see what happens. But that's about it. All right. Now, option number two. This is where we get a lot more creative with it and thoughtful, all right? Because what you have to realize is no matter what you do, it's all about context. And this is when branding comes into play. So let's say you have a considerable fan base that really rocks with you and they're used to a specific sound, all right? Let's say there's that. So there's even more pressure and you know for a fact that 1,000 people are gonna listen at least whenever you just drop this song, no promotion or not. Number one, I'm still pro, put it on Apple, Spotify, all that stuff. Like, put it on there. Like, it's, don't, don't you know, stress that part out. But when you do it, it's about context. So how do you let people know that this is some old stuff and I'm releasing it now, right? Because that's going to take pressure off you and it's going to create some, some managing of expectations, right? So you can name it my first songs, right? Or old stuff. There's there's things that are contextual to your brain that'll make it make more sense, however you name it. But you can create a story around it where you let people know, yo, this is some music when I was just discovering myself. Or, or this is, I wanted to give y'all a sense of who I used to be, right? Before I found my sound to show a little encouragement, right? You can be, bring a whole narrative of hard work and, and improvement. All that stuff can work, right? You can, you can name it, um, I don't know. Let me see. Uh, you, can, you can name it like, um, hmm, you, you know, old days or something like that. There, there's so many creative names you can come up with. I, I, I definitely suggest if you can name it a small piece of project, right, and then create that story around the project, it'll, it'll do wonders. And it makes things so much simpler. You could just push the story, but a lot of people will miss the story. It makes it even stronger when you put it in a small package of a project, whether there's three or five songs that's some kind of EP. And if you put some kind of name that alludes to it, right? Um, you know, uh, what, what's a, what's a, like old me, I don't know. It's obvious, but you can come up with something far more uh, creative and whatever makes sense for your brand. But just think about the the point of what I'm saying, the narrative, right? Think about the the concept that you can create around it, the narrative that you can create around it that makes it clear that this isn't who I am anymore, sonically, right? But you also have this context to let people know why you dropped it now, all right? And maybe you have to lie a little bit maybe you just really just want to drop it because you feel like you want to drop it and and you didn't want to um have any songs wasted in the chamber right maybe that's it but you can create a whole story outside of that and just make it you know connect connect dots you're an artist you're a storyteller do that all right then there's also the legit straight up story of hey i had some old songs and i wanted to release them show the world it is what it is you can take whatever approach you want to but Understand that, look, one, review the options. One, drop it. No one ever knows about it because you never really promoted it or it is a very likely chance. Two, you can post it as an audio on YouTube so people can hear it. And if you see enough feedback, you know, maybe maybe you do something a little bit more with it. And you can also promote that YouTube clip um, on 
on our social media, right? That's the second option. Then third is creating a narrative around it, right? Some kind of context around it that lets people know why it's dropping now or just takes the pressure off. So you don't even have to say, this is why I'm dropping now, but you can just let them know clearly this is not who you are by whatever you name it and a small piece of story um, that, that you attach, right? That's simple. I hope that's clear. If we ever need to go into any more details, we'll do that in another episode. All right.